had this house today, you would have you'd loved it. It was about a 3,000 square foot shingled craftsman house with porches front and back that looked the front porch looked out over the beautiful Duwamish River <laughs> and if you stood on one foot you could kind of see the city. Uh, but it was a gorgeous house. It was built in 1910. But we moved to it, into it in 1950. There was no other access when we first moved into it except the trail from, that, from the bottom of the hill through the woods to the house. I don't know how they got the building material up there, but it was a nice place. And uh, when my dad bought it in 1950 for $3,500, uh, he built a set of stairs that went right up here. And uh, so that, that's the way we brought everything in and everything out. Uh, four, five kids in our family, um, four bedroom house, uh, something to behold. If I had it today, I would, uh, I would be, in fact, I built the house similar to it at Lake Taps because it, I loved it so much. But uh, Tell about the stairwell. Yeah, well, they, <laughs> you mean the stairs? Stair, the yeah, stairs. As I said, there are 75 stairs. I, I, I got to the point, my brother and I got to the point where we could ride our bikes down those stairs. We were oh, so good at wow. it. But uh, <laughs> it was, it was uh, as we were in the embrace of this, uh, this neighborhood, and Mrs. Zavella, Evelyn, uh, was kind enough to take very good care of us as we grew up. And uh, so, it has a special place for me. I, I don't. I, after after my I got out of the Navy, my dad and and mother moved from here to near the Delridge Park on the other side, and uh, so we turned it into the most spectacular party house you can imagine. Five guys, some of my Navy friends, and a couple of other people lived in the house. Every weekend night, when the Climax Tavern. The, the successor to the Riverside Gardens closed. This is a Jerry Kingman uh, enterprise up there. The band would come down here, traipse up there, and music would continue throughout the night. Uh, the police never came. They might have came here and looked up those stairs and said, no, I don't think that we're going to do anything about it. And it burnt down in about 1965. Where was that house? In between here and 19? Yeah. Okay. We're right there, halfway up the hill. Were there others on the hill for a while? None between None, the hill. No, not on yeah. the side hill, no. Oh, just way up on 19. Up, up on top, on Pigeon Hill, yes. Okay. Yeah, it was the only, this, that was the only house on that side of 18. So where was the staircase? Right well, through here. Okay. With the My Jerry? recollection of it was right on this side, and it came on to the right side of the property, and the house was right above here. Are the stairs gone? Well, I'm sure there's there's some remnant in it. We'd have to be an archaeologist <laughs> to find them. But you can uh, imagine how wonderful it was to, to not be bothered by anyone. That's the way my dad looked at it. Pardon? How did it burn down? Oh uh, yeah. Well, that's probably a good story, but I wasn't there. Uh, my uh, my wife insisted, my because I was I was engaged to my wife at the time. I was going to school at the University of Washington. She said, look. I don't want you living in that place. <laughs> of course, you can understand why. And uh, so I moved out, and be this was just before we got married. And uh, the people who, s who took my place, they were even rowdier than we were. And I guess they had a big party going at one time, and somebody lit a fire in the middle of the living room, or who knows? Gone. Yeah. What happened to the deed?